For the most part, I think Rihanna did her thing at the Super Bowl halftime show. Okay? I have a few things I didn't like about it. It felt like she lip synced a lot of it. Okay? And um, for a pregnant woman, you know, there's only so much she can do. But she did her thing. Overall, it was visually entertaining. And I understand why they chose her because she has way more hits than I remember. And she went through her catalog. Okay. Um, but it brought me back to a time when I was on social media and I first found out that Chris Stapleton would be performing at the Super Bowl. Okay. And I'm like, I hope it's during halftime. All right. But I found out, you know, it's the, you know, the Star Spangled Banner, which is a very hard song to sing. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, um, and I got, you know, made fun of, you know, in uh, social media for wanting to hear a bearded white guy sing during the halftime show some of his uh, songs. But um, I'm not looking down on anyone because before starting a YouTube channel, I didn't know who he was either. So, you know, I've, I've recently become a big fan and I was at a Super Bowl party, so I didn't really get to enjoy uh, him singing, singing the national anthem. For the most part, we were all a little bit too under the influence, talking loud and drinking you know uh, have, having a good time for the most part so uh i didn't get to enjoy it you know i did get to enjoy the halftime show so you guys are about to enjoy that with me today we are checking out chris stapleton national anthem at the super bowl let's get into it let's go from the nation's capital and the military district of washington today's colors will be presented by the armed forces color guard and drummers and the president's own United States Marine Band. Wow. Colors! Hold! Colors! Present! Or! Please welcome, on behalf of the NAD, ASL performer and Academy Award winner, Troy Kotzer. to honor America with the performance of the National Anthem, eight-time Grammy Award winner, Chris Stapleton. I told you, if you didn't know who he was, you knew at the Super Bowl, okay? Um, the man has soul. This guy's into it. <laughs> I was just waiting to see who's going to be crying, man. I knew I was going to catch somebody crying, man. Let's, let's, let's keep it going. Sheesh. Amazing. Now, I'll, I'll say this. My favorite performance of uh, that I can remember will probably be Marvin Gaye's is one of my top favorite uh, performances of this. 
this Chris Stapleton creeps up there in that category. This is amazing. And I love the way he arranged uh, this track. It was, uh, he's not overdoing it. Uh, he's not underdoing it. It's not bland. It's amazing. It's so, I love the guitar playing with it. This is amazing. He's crying now. I know he's crying when they got that horrible call at the end of the game. Okay. Beautiful Super Bowl, by the way. But that call was so 50-50. The Super Bowl should not be determined on a call like that. They got hosed. I, I don't have a dog in the fight. But, yes, it was the call. But you don't call that then, in my opinion. Okay. Um, they, they got hosed. I, I'm sorry to go on that tangent. But that's the real reason to cry right there. Love the rat. Love how how gritty his voice is. This is one of the best performances, in my opinion, that I've seen. It's one of them. one of my favorite parts is when the jets come through at the end okay always on cue i love how they do that um this takes me back to my original comment which was you guys are going to learn <laughs> i got i don't and not that i'm taking it very serious uh but a lot of people are going to learn the same way i learned don't let the beard fool you this guy can sing this guy is an incredible artist uh i will put this in one of my top 10 performances of the Star Spangled Banner, in my opinion. Uh, you know, I loved, I've seen Whitney Houston do it. Incredible. Marvin Gaye. Uh, Stevie Wonder has killed it. So many people. Uh, Mariah Carey. Uh, but I would put this in my top 10. It's hard to put, you know, to like to arrange it, but it's up there. It's a, it's a, it's a great arrangement of the track from my personal taste. I love it. Um, and this is why I love live performances. I thought that the halftime show felt very lip syncy. I didn't think, I didn't feel like she was singing. I didn't, I didn't get wild in any way, but I was blown away by the visuals and the dancing and the performance and everything else. Uh, but there's nothing like a live performance in my opinion, just my opinion. All right. So, um, I enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you did, please be sure to like the video, subscribe, hit that notification bell that way. You can stay up to date whenever I post new videos. Check out my Patreon below if you want to see content that doesn't make my YouTube channel. And I interact with people more so on my Patreon um, and get a lot of my reaction requests from my Patreon members as well as donation requests. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.